Look who's over there, guys, waiting for me. <laughs> Unbelievable, she's meowing. Just, just pulled up in the car. Honestly, it's tea time. Unbelievable, what you gotta do? Bloody cat, hey? I can't believe she's waiting for me. She does it all the time though, so uh, you know, believe what you believe what you see. But there she is. Uh, just park the car there. Eh? Got to go and shut the gates now. That's gonna be fun. What? We're not going round there today in the car, eh? Eh? I know, I know. Hey, let's shut the gates first, eh? You wait there. Okay, wait there. See you in a second. I'm gonna shut the bloody gates and then I can, can deal with her. See you in a minute, oh. folks. Lead the way then. What's she like? I just parked my car up there. Wow, that horse been yours gone down since the other day. Yeah, this is me walking to me path. Uh, plot. This is where I slept yesterday. Just over here. Slipped on that stuff there. Bloody um, sunflower went flying. Oh. Anyway, I bet she's behind me. <laughs> that was a uh, obvious. Running over there, <laughs> she's spry for the cat. Wish I could run as fast. <laughs> oh dear, I'm gonna go and give her a tea. Um, I say, there's that bloody magpie that pinched me, Chris, this morning. I left a packet of crisp out on the table here and uh, I turn around and she's pinched them. <laughs> oh, it looks like they've all been at it. There's the packet, there's the packet. Uh, uh, it was up there uh, this morning. I have to go and pick that up. Looks like they've been at it here. I'm surprised they've not had a, a food. She's got food there, she's, you know. I'll give her some more before uh, I go. But yeah, I'm going to pick that bloody packet of crisps here. Yeah, bloody, where is she, that magpie? Murderer. Yeah, I left it on the table here with my coffee. I turned round and it's it's gone. I thought, I, I swear I put a packet of crisps just here. Anyway, there they were, they were over there, weren't they? And all ripped open and eaten. So, yeah. <coughs> Right, that's a pick all this lot up off the floor there. The magpies have pulled it out of uh, out of that bucket there. Oh look at there's a lot of crunching going Hi on. Hi guys, well welcome back to Allotment Diggers. <laughs> I've just uh, just come in the the car park there and Buttercup was waiting for me. Like she, she does this all the time. And um, yeah, I just brought her in here and just fed her. Uh, just she's got a new house in here now um i'm not seeing her go in it yet she will go in it eventually um she in fact she's sat in front of it at the moment as we speak but um i've got a little clip here i might put in to show you this uh, it's like a cat with a big gob and it's like a, a a fluffy thing anyway i've just stuck it in here now it's in the corner near the door might bring it back here where it's warmer in fact that might be the best idea whether she goes in it or not, I don't know, but she has got a proper bed behind me here, so she's got a choice of two. If it gets too cold, uh, hopefully she will go in there. Um, yeah, just come down and give her a tea. Uh, we've been busy today. As you can see, the greenhouse is clear now. And, um, well, uh, I've got a video to show you me actually clearing all this. The spores, what were in here, you won't believe. Well, you will believe, because you'll be able to see them. Literally clouds of them. Uh, we bagged them up and we got rid of the, the all the um, tomatoes at Cobden Street. Tip. They're certainly not going in my compost bin. 
But um, anyway, I've got a video here to show you me doing all this. We had to set the camera up outside. You get to see little clips of me doing this, that, and the other. So check this out. This is what we've well, been as you doing. As you can see, the cups having a breakfast. Um, what I'm going to do in a bit, come in and take all these um, tomatoes out. I've cut the stems at the base. I just take the Velcro off here and pull them into the back because that's what I'm going to do. Uh, same on this side. We remove all the canes, uh, remove all the pots, tidy the greenhouse up, make it look a bit smarter. Um, we will clean the glass, but I don't know if we're going to do that today. Probably another time. And then Buttercup's got a, a playpen for the winter. Uh, tidy it all up, give it a sweep out. Yeah, it's going to take a while, but anyway, this is what it's looking like now. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like after we're done. Like I say, she's really enjoying that, so we're going to hang off, hang off until she's finished stuffing her face. <laughs> right, I'm going to leave the, I'm going to leave the the, um, the camera out here because it's too, too tight inside this greenhouse. Buttercups up to no good. Uh, I've got one of these bags. I don't know if you can see it. And what I'm doing? Take the Velcro, put my mask on, put all the fungal spores in here, definitely don't want to be breathing them in. Uh, I'll just pull them all into these bags here. So as you can see we've done this side, we've got to do this side yet, uh, pull all the, the plants out, once we get them into that bag then we can start tidying everything else up, until we do that we're going to be stuck so I'm going to continue pulling all the tomatoes into the bag and then we'll get rid of them, the spores in there are unbelievable, it's going to take me forever to, to clean this lot up but uh, yeah we'll, we'll get in there anyway. bombs it in here at the moment uh, obviously I've got to take all the uh, the canes out and all the halos but uh, once we've got that done then we can start tidying it up a bit better that's all going at tip that's full of all sorts of nasties and uh, once I finish doing all that, all this will be going straight in the wash when I get home. So anyway, that's where we're at at the moment. Uh, we'll come back in a moment or two. 
and we start tidying everything up. I'm just going to pick all these Velcro You're just going to pick all the velcro up and uh, we'll put that in Jay's fluid. We will be using it again, don't you? What I, what I mean by velcro. This is what we use to tie everything together. I'm just going to put them in a bag at the moment. We'll come back to these. So we got all the canes and uh, now we're just going to uh, take the all the aloes out so there'll be all roots and everything to come out of here. I've got a, a 30 litre, I've got a 30 litre book, uh, book to put all the, the roots in. So we're slowly getting there, it's, this is taking a long time. It wasn't an easy job to do, but it needed to be done. So, I say we've got all the canes out. I will be wiping them all down with Jay's fluid, but not today. Um, like I say, we're just trying to get the greenhouse uh, clear today. We can work on it over the next couple of days, tidying it up. But today, it's all about getting um, the tomato um, stems and and roots and everything out. Uh, we've got, obviously we've got this uh, grapevine what we need to take care of as well so I've got to be very careful with that as well not to to damage it um, but anyway we're gonna put these away and then we'll start taking the a-load up so I'll see you in a bit guys Well, there you go, that's all the halos. Now we do now. Oops. Let's break the 
take the uh, such compost off the tomatoes. Now you see what the tomatoes are grown like, but just look at the roots on them, they're not very big, are they? What I'll say in that. where they are. So we finally cleared the greenhouse of all the uh, tomatoes. I will be washing all the windows shortly. Uh, I can start putting me bags of compost which I will be buying over the coming weeks and I'll be putting them in here uh, ready for, for next year. And uh, let's see, it's, all it needs now is just uh, quick sweeping out. Um, I'll put all my canes and my, my, my aloes away and uh, we'll, we'll get Buttercup's uh, toys in here and uh, we, we'll, we'll work on, I've got a, a new um, cat box for her with a, with a roof on it. Whether she goes in it or not I don't know. At the moment she's in um, she's in Rick's greenhouse because it's got full sunlight and it's lovely and warm in there. She's not stupid you know. And that's where she is at the moment. But uh, when I call her over in a bit, um, she'll have she'll have it all to play with in there. So <laughs> anyway, I've tidied it up. We'll we'll clean it, give it another sweep, and we'll I'll, sh I'll quickly show you uh, what it looks like empty. For it's it's been full for the last uh, seven months. Right onwards and upwards. As you can see, uh, it's all clear now all the way around. There's Buttercup's bowl. I'll bring the water in, in a bit. This is the grape. Um, when all the leaves fall off it finally, uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll pick the main stem, the best one. And, well, it's this one here, obviously. And uh, we'll finish it off here, cut this off. I've actually cut a piece off it because it was dangling down too much. And then we'll clean all the glass and the jobs are good. Buttercup, she's, uh, she's, she's in that greenhouse over there at the moment in the sun. She will be over here later. I've, like I say, I've had to cart a while, I've done it all. So I'm going to put all my canes away. Um, before I use them again, I wipe them down with Jay's fluid, but I'm going to stack them over here. With me in me a cane rack 
So that's what we're going to do now, get rid of these and uh, go and get that up to Cobden Street tip. Um, definitely uh, don't want to put that in my compost bin. Um, like I say, it's full of all sorts of horrible stuff. Um, as, as the months go along, you get blight on your tomatoes and there's all sorts of different pathogens which uh, attach themselves to them so we chopped them all out, they're all in there, there's a few bits of uh, the grapevine in there as well but um, yeah once I get home I'll be throwing all this lot in the wash I certainly won't be going into any other greenhouses until I've washed all my clothes then again we'll come with Jay's fluid shortly and clean all this might cut this thing, this thing here, it's a bit of annoying uh, just give it a bit of a trim but uh, yeah you can, as you can see there's buttercup's uh, bed I will be putting the other one in here and see, see if she likes it, might stick it in the corner put a board across the corner and stick it in the corner, I don't know yet but it's inside the inside me um, my shed so we're getting that out shortly but like I say I've been at it all morning doing this so she should be happy with what she's got there, I think, for now. I can start putting my bags of compost in here. Um, probably end up with 20 throughout the... I'm probably going to put 10 in here in the next couple of days. And then um, what we'll do, we'll, every now and again, we'll add another five until we get to 20. And that's me, what we do, we dig all this lot out. Throw that onto the, the beds top the, the these these beds up with new compost all this compost what you see here will be going into these beds here eventually anyway that's uh, that's another job done I'll be able to do my videos in here now so yeah that's a that's a bonus so there we go, uh, we got all, got all the, the, the tomatoes off to Cobden Street tip, um, they were full of all sorts of horrible stuff. I will be piling my uh, bags of compost in here shortly, um, it's a place where I'll be at store and the buttercup's got somewhere else to sit. Um, she had a moment she sat on the, uh, the compost here, um, <laughs> but she's, she's falling asleep, she could so easily go into that new, new house but she's not. Anyway, um, yeah, we've got the grapevine in here, we still need to sort that out. There's like four branches coming off, I want one to go down the edge here, I want to go along the roof. Now there's four, so we'll pick the, the, the best two and we'll cut the others off and hopefully next year we'll get some really, really nice um, grapes in Black Hamburg, this one. So I've got Black Hamburg in here and Black Hamburg in there, so we will be able to make lots of wine next year. The, the glass needs cleaning, but it's on the outside, it's not the inside, that's dirty. I was just uh, rubbing the window and it's, it's on the outside, so I've got a brush and everything. So I, when, it, when it stops raining and I get half a chance, I'll go out there and give it a good cleaning. So that's a job still to do. Um, we've been spreading muck onto the, this bed here, which has got all the currants and raspberries in, and some dahlias. And we've also topped up the, the rhubarb bed as well with some more horse manure. So um, I've got a couple of clips I'm going to show you. But uh, someone was asking me, um, where do you get your horse manure from, Matt? Well, um, funny enough, um, that day um, Bob dropped a load up at the top. So I thought, what the heck? Could I actually caught him dropping a load in the front bay as well earlier uh, later on that day? So. I had to go up there to make sure there was some horse manure to do this job, so we went up there, but cut following her. And um, we'll, we'll jump from that clip to uh, where, where Bob's tipping it into into the um, the bay at the front. So we've got both bays full of wood um, horse manure now, and uh, both bays full of wood chip as well. So let's show you that. I'm going to show you that. I'll show you the um, show you Bob and his tractor first, and then we'll go into showing me doing um putting this muck spreading onto the the beds out here so here it comes guys that's paul and maximus buttercup 
obviously she's followed me up to the arse manure. Uh, just, uh, Bob's just dropped some of this. I've just got some, getting some put over me, um, my dailies and what have you. There's a lot of bobo flies in there. Actually, they're arse flies, horrible things. But they, when I go anywhere near them, they all scarper, obviously. They don't like me, but look at them here. There's thousands of them. Got some wood chip as well, just come this morning, so we're good. Um, it's going to be back in about an hour, and there'll be another load of this in the, the other bay over the other side. So, yeah, as you can see, there's quite a lot of it. Should keep the natives happy. Anyway, I need some of this. There's my wheelbarrow. A couple of wheelbarrows of this over my um, dahlias and uh, around my, um, my, my um, currant bushes. And uh, yeah, it's, they should. Well, it should feed um, the the fruit trees over over the winter. That's it. That's the plan anyway. But there you go. Lots and lots of horse manure. This is Bob. And that's the load he's dropping off. Just tells me he just spent four grand on um, them tyres there. Four grand, I've just spent 400 on four of mine. He spent four grand on, on four for himself. You can see where they just had a new new tyres put on. Here we go. Come flying out in a second. Hold me breath. Oh, jeez. He's done it. So, he's, must, he's done this for like about fifteen years, and he, he's got it off to a fine art at the moment, as you can see. When all the uh, the smoke clears. Jobs are good. One. So yeah, we've we've got a couple more beds to put the arse manure in. I will be uh, doing once we take the um, the African marigolds out of um, out of the beds. I'm going to put some more arse manure into into the back bed and. Um, then we can work on the, the back part of the plot as well. We've took all them cabbages out of the back bed now. And um, unfortunately, they, they, they all died through bloody poisoning. What are you doing, Buttercup? You're getting covered in muck. You can't see, she's just off the camera here. Anyway, um, what I'm going to show you now is that we did a bit of an harvest the, a couple of days ago. Uh, we had an accident hurt myself, all my ribs, um, I'm not too too clever at the moment, I've got to tell you I'm in a lot of pain, um, slipped on my backside, I should have listened to my mate um, Rick, he said, Mark, he says, uh, can you get us a couple of ba um, bottles of you know, jars of honey out of the shop, I says, yeah, give me a five minutes mate, I've just got to get all this lot together, and what it was, was it a load of harvest, apples, um, eggs, uh, potatoes, cabbages, all sorts of stuff, which I'm going to show you in a minute and it was while I was carrying them over to the car he said throw me in my wheelbarrow and I'll I'll wheel them over for you I said oh you're alright I wish you had now because I slipped on my backside and done all my ribs in but um, I've got this uh, The this is another harvest there that we've just picked up a couple of days ago They're all, it's all at home now the apples and everything you're going to see me, um, have a, I had a cunning plan to get the apples which was really high up in the trees. We're going to be chopping them trees really low this year. Uh, I'll be hacking at them. But um, <laughs> you see the tool that I used to get the apples out of the tree. Uh, well, you're going to see a selection. And uh, yeah, we had some potatoes as well. Um, I tried to do a potato reveal and it started to rain so I had to knock, knock it on the head. But I got all the potatoes, I cleaned them and dried them. And I left them in a sack, as you can sack, in the, the back greenhouse. Anyway, I decided uh, that particular day was the day we was going to be taking them home. So you're going to see me doing a bit of a weighing as well. Um, I think we've weighed three buckets. Well, this would be the third bucket. We've got one more bucket of this variety. I think it was a uh, Pentum Javelin. And um, 
Yeah, the, the other two that I can tell you, one was £12 and one was £15 out of each bucket. So um, what this one is, well surprise surprise, I'm going to show you in a second. So this is what we've been what we've been grabbing to take home. So today I am I'm just getting a few few things to take home to eat. And in that tree there are some beautiful apples. The trouble is they're too high, but I have got a cunning plan to get get the apples down. Um, in that bag there I've got myself about three and a half dozen eggs. There's buttercup there having a breakfast. But yeah, the cunning plan to get their apples because they're about ten feet tall. Well you're gonna see in a second. Here we go, let's go and get some apples. Well, as you see, give a bit of a wipe here. There, the apples, absolute awesome, aren't they? Mind to see the cat there. Eh? Yeah, beautiful apples. We'll get a few more of them in a bit, but um, yeah. They're a bit too high to get with the. Well, a bit too high to. I'm, I'm going to be cutting them trees really short this year, cut, cutting them lower, but yeah, these are absolutely beautiful apples. I mean, look at them, absolute bobby dazzlers. You're going to ask me what variety they are, and to be quite honest with you, I can't remember what they are. I'll look it up and uh, we'll get back to you on that. But anyway, yep, so we're we'll going to get the potatoes now. You can't see me head there. Here we're going to get the potatoes. Again, um, the scales are on the fritz. So, we've already, we've already got them in the shed, the, the potatoes. I, I took them off, uh, I, well, I, I took, did a bucket uh, yesterday. So, I'll be doing another weighing of these. Um, Oh, I can't remember, I think the Pent and Javelin, if I'm not mistaken. Might be wrong. But uh, we'll, if this, I'll get, try and get the scales working, we'll see what they weigh in a moment. But uh, I'm going back over there and grabbing a few more of these apples. I need a, I need a bag to put them in, actually, so I'm going to find myself a bag. And we'll be right back with an update on the potatoes and uh, we'll have a look at, another look at these, um, these apples. See you in a bit, folks. So these are the, the apples I've just um, used my hole to get down out of the tree. And like I say, they're really good apples, these, eating apples. Um, like I say, all good ones. There you go. Anyway, um, we don't take them all, we just take what we need. So I'm going to bag them up now and probably end up getting a, a few a few baking apples as well. We will be weighing the the spuds in the, this um, bag in a minute. I've just got them in the session sack. We've already washed them and dried them out. And trouble is my scales are on the fritz so I don't know what the weight is. But we will have a, weigh, have a bash at them in a bit. Anyway, I'm going to bag these ones. These are... Uh, these apples up and then we'll we'll crack on okay so I've got some bramleys here these are me bramleys more bramleys so we've got a, a bag of bramleys 
a bag of these dessert apples. Uh, we've actually got a couple of well, three and a half dozen eggs, and uh, we've still haven't done the potato uh, weigh-in yet. See what I weigh there with the potatoes. Um, but all these are going home. I did have a bag of these apple apples at home. When I come to use them yesterday, they were all bloody gone. She should give them away. So we've got a uh, we've got another bag there. I say got three and a half dozen eggs there, and uh, we got a bag of spuds here, which we're going to weigh now. So give me a second, I get my scales out and see see if we can get the scales to work, and we'll see what weight we get. Uh, I don't know if these scales are going to work, but we'll have a look in a minute, but I'm going to get these spuds and tip them into this bag where we're going to weigh them. I'm going to weigh them in this bag. We've still got another two buckets of these. Ready? No. I don't know if you can see them. We want them. Take the camera off the stand for a second so you can see what we got here. So there we go. They've all been washed and uh, dried. I think that's about the biggest, about the, the right size. Some nice spuds there. Like I say, we've got two more buckets of these. A little bit of canker there, that's now. But yeah, pretty clean, pretty clean spuds here. So I'm going to set the scales up now and see what how much is, how many spuds are in this this bag. Probably about, say about ten pound maybe. Could be more. Won't know until we weigh them. So give me a second and get the scales set up. Back on this tripod. <coughs> And set them. Oh, they turned on. Uh, kilos, ounces. Set to set to pounds. Okay. Start again. Yeah, the the. I think we need some new batteries in this. So we got them set at pounds. Oh god. Okay. So we're at sixteen pound. Well, it's over sixteen pound anyway. I don't know if you can. Hang on, let's get the scales here closer. Sixteen pound, maybe one and a half ounces, two ounces. Okay, I give up. So there's sixteen pound of spuds there. That's not bad from a thirty litre bucket. We've got, like I say, we've got about another eight or nine buckets left of these. We don't. We we take them when we need them. Um. And we need them today, so I thought we'd take get get them as well as the the, the apples and the and the eggs. I've got to get them to the bloody car now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, not bad at all. I say really nice nice spuds. There we go. I can live with them. That's the second second lot of them spuds we've had. Uh, the other, I think, was about 14, 15 pound. So there we go. Jobs are good. Just tidying up these uh, purple cabbages. They're not very good, but they're better than nothing. Oh, give them 
some scraps of chickens. Some nice purple cabbages there, make some coleslaw out of them I'm sure. Anyway, yeah, we're taking a few things home today. I need another bag I think to put all this lot in, like I say, I've got my potatoes. Got some cabbage, um, eating apples, baking apples. We've got So this is what it's all about guys, um, at the end of the year, but then again I've been getting this all through the year so <laughs> unfortunately a bit of a disaster with them cabbages, my other cabbages, but uh, we've still got a few Savoy cabbages left now and uh, oh, I'll tell you what I didn't get, the broccoli, I've got a load of broccoli there as well, I really need to get some of them. I've, I think I've got more than enough stuff here to take home. I'm sure only moan if I take too much. Right, anyway, I'm going to get all this in the car. And uh, see you in a bit. So there you go, we ended up just over £16 with them spuds. Really nice spuds as well. Um, great, great for making chippers, um, roasting. Uh, boiled potatoes. We've had every, we've, we've done them every way, and they they are quite nice. Um, one of my favourite potatoes. Uh, potato jackets as well. That's another one. But yeah, that that there with the the hole to get the apples down. <laughs> we managed to get a, a nice bag of um, eating apples from there as well, plus all the bramlis and um, like I say, we got the purple cabbage. I think I've got some savoy left, and um, I've got some. Um, oh, what do you call them? Calabris uh, and cabbage. No, ca cauliflower and broccoli. Uh, get it right in the end. Uh, luckily, we didn't put, put uh, we didn't water them and poison them, so they're doing okay. I should have really took a couple. Uh, a couple of days ago, but we need to take the tops off them so we um, so they don't all blow. But yeah, we've had a had a good year this year. This greenhouse has been exceptional. Um, it's produced so many tomatoes, and not only has it fed my family and all my street, it's fed uh, a lot of people from the food bank as well. Uh, we've been taking bag after bag out of them, carrier bag after carrier bag. It's, it's it's produced a lot. I think next year what we might do. We might put chilies down this side and just uh, one lot of uh, tomatoes down this side. I think we we, we did too many this year, but um, yeah, it was uh, it was great. It was uh, it's done really well this greenhouse, and hopefully it will do even better next year when we get the um, the grapes on it. Anyway, I'm going to head off now. I'm going to try and get this video up a bit later. Um, sorry, it's a bit late in in the coming, but I, I hurt myself and uh, I ended up in bed all yesterday. And, I normally put me um, my videos up um, over weekend and well I'm not been able to do anything because I've been in such agony um, but yeah, we'll get this one up tonight I've only got a little bit of editing to do uh, there is another video coming out shortly and how to how to turn a, an oil drum into a burning bin um, we've got a brand new spanking burning bin there with a lid on it and everything so um, you're going to see me doing, uh, showing you how to, to make a, a really nice burning bin um, in the next next video, which won't be too far away. Um, I've got everything done, I just need to throw it all together. I will be giving the other burning bin away. Um, I've got uh, one of these B&Q burning bins. They last about 20 burns, then the bottom falls out of them. So um, I've only used it about three times, so what I'm going to do is give that one away to anyone who who wants it. And it's got a lid, it's got the funnel and everything on it. You'll see in the next video. So anyway, I've talked long enough, I've definitely talked long enough. Buttercup, um, well, she's just sat at the side of the camera and she's contemplating, does she want to go into a, a new house or not? I don't know. 
but um, at the moment she's just sat on the compost. I'll swing the camera down to show you where she is and you'll see how close she is to the um, to a new house. So there she is there. Um, and just to the, there's a new house there. So when she goes in it, hopefully it'll be when it's really cold. But yeah, just trust her to be there where she is. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey, you're all covered in muck. Yeah, she's meeting me at the gate this before. Hey, she's getting closer to where I live. Anyway, from me and Buttercup, thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe and bye for now. You're not saying bye bye? <coughs> Well, just put uh, the the new house in the corner there, and Buttercup she jumps over and runs straight in it. So there you go, guys. There's Buttercup. She's moved into a new house. I don't mind, but she's actually got another one just here to the left of it. There, that's the one where she normally sits. But it's getting colder now, so this one's got a roof on it. Um, my brother um, gave me that. He said his cat won't go in it. So she's uh, there. She is fast asleep in there. She's got a cat food, everything in the, in the greenhouse. She's got everything. Just down the side here, there's a cat food, water. She's got a toys. There's a new house. There's an old house. Another toys just over there. Uh, so we turned this in a bit of a play thing for her, and for this winter anyway. But there she is in a new house, and she's uh, <laughs> she's fallen asleep already, which is great. She'll keep out of my way.